Today we're going to learn how to make a grid map. A grid map is a lot like a tile map, but in 3D. Now normally I'm a big fan of two-dimensional games in Godot, but recently I've been getting into voxels. Voxels make it really convenient to make 3D models. The nice thing about them is you can rotate them in the scene to see different sides of them. Whereas if we are using 2D graphics, you have to draw a different sprite for each side. I've prepared three different models here, lava, platform, and walkway. And I'm creating these models using this software called Magica Voxel. As it happens, Godot has an add-on called the Magica Voxel Importer, which I will show you in the asset library. Magica Voxel Importer. Actually, it looks like there are a couple of different ones. This add-on lets you use .vox format files, which is really convenient for making 3D models. I've got lava.vox, platform.vox, and walkway.vox. And the first thing that we need to do in order to make a grid map is we need to prepare a mesh library. Godot has a built-in way to put together a bunch of meshes into a mesh library. Let's create a new 3D scene, and we're going to add lava, platform, and walkway to this scene. So we add a mesh instance. Um, so we're going to call this one lava, and we will assign this mesh to it. So this, this, is, the, this is what it looks like in the editor, just a little tile of red. And then we will similarly create a platform, uh, and we'll put this image here, and we will create a walkway, and then let's just space them out a little bit here. Okay, here are our three models uh, side by side. The next thing we're going to need to do to get our grid map is we are going to add a static body to each of these. So these static bodies um, are part of the physics uh, for the meshes, and we need a collider for each mesh. Godot can generate these colliders for us as well. So for example, here with lava, we just go up here into mesh. There are different options. This one's pretty simple. That creates this collision shape, which we can put under the static body. We do the same thing for these. And if you, if you zoom in, the, the blue lines show you what the shape of this is like. So it's just a box. It's pretty simple. And we do the same thing for the walkway. And there we go. So we have our uh, root node, and we have underneath it a bunch of meshes with a physics static body, which is necessary for the collisions when you actually put the grid map into a scene. So now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to select the root node, and we're going to say convert to mesh library. And we'll just save our mesh library here. And there we go. Uh, here's our mesh library. We can create a scene. And now we can add a grid map. And we assign our mesh library to this grid map. And as you can see, it's just like a tile map. Um, now we can uh, add these in. This the scale isn't quite right, so we're going to change that. We go into cell, we'll say 16. Y is the vertical direction. X and Z are the horizontal direction, so 16 by 8 by 16. And now we can create our map. You can fill in an area by selecting it with Shift Select, and then Control F to fill the selection. And then we can have a platform or a walkway. Let's add a little walkway there. Uh, we can have a platform. And maybe the platform is surrounded by walkways side. And yeah, so we can basically now just paint with this. And all of the physics is built in. So if you put some physics body, it'll uh, interact with the colliders that are that are built into this. And so this will make it really easy to create 3D terrain for our game. Thanks for watching.